Hi, my name is Meredith Rice. I'm a current junior at Auburn University in the Harvard College of Business with a major in marketing and a minor in theater. So what really motivated me to go into business was starting off a lot of my jobs being in service industries. Um, and so whenever I was in those service industries, I really wanted to understand the psychology of the customer. I wanted to understand sort of where the money was going and flowing, as well as just how management affected performance. And while STEM was always interesting to me, it didn't really fit my personality type. So when I came to Auburn and started looking at what majors I wanted to pursue, business really piqued my interest because that was where I could learn not only the management principles, I could learn how to market to people and understand their psychology, I could get the financial backings that I needed. And after building that foundation, I realized marketing was best suited for me for the creative output as well as the, psych the psychological aspect and finally being able to manage people and manage where those advertisements go or where your marketing goes. So that kind of combined all of those aspects into one for my major. So in the Office of Professional Career Development and with the busy courses, um, you have to do these informational interviews which are very useful for the future. And so an informational interview overall is essentially having a conversation with someone in the industry that you're interested in and getting to understand what goes on in that industry, what would go into the position that you're interested in, and kind of how to go about further developing your skills so that way when you do graduate you can be ready and prepared for that position. So for my informational interview, I knew I wanted to do something a little bit different. A lot of people go and talk to a lot of finance companies. Um, there's a lot of marketing ad agencies people talk to. But I ended up talking to a literature company, which is a little abnormal. But what I wanted to do was talk to this smaller company called Mountain Dell Press that is owned by Danielle Kraut and Dakota Kraut. And they produce some of the most lit RPG books um, in the industry currently, to our knowledge and I wanted to know more about how they go about their marketing considering having a smaller industry. So from there, I reached out to Danielle. Um, she's a very busy woman, very nice to talk to for sure though, and got to sit down and call her for about 30 minutes and ask her a couple of questions. I didn't go in wanting an interview per se of uh, a future job, but I did want to understand, hey, when I graduate, is this something I want to go into? From there, we kind of talked for about the 30 minutes about the marketing side, which she handles, the legal side, which she also handles, and then just also being a woman in this industry, especially it being a male-dominated field, and going into non-traditional publishing and uh, understanding what it's like to own your own small business and have to take that leap. So there was a lot of information that came from that that I never knew beforehand. So after we had that conversation for about 30 minutes, I went ahead and thanked her for her time. And a week later, I sent her a thank you note because I felt like that was appropriate because she gave so much insight. And I left it alone for a couple of months. We had a great interview and I didn't want to push it. However, after a couple of months, I did end up contacting her about um, people interested in having more social media positions and having accountability positions. And what ended up happening was her husband, Dakota, who is very um, known amongst the authors, he was recommending me to other people after hearing such a great interview and hearing how informative I was on my end and how informative she was on her end. And Danielle and Dakota have since then been talking to other people in the industry and saying, hey, there's this really upcoming person in this and that's really interested in wanting to do work and you should hire her. And that was the first time I heard her about it. Cut to about two weeks later and I get three separate messages within about 24 hours of three different authors wanting me to run their accountability and run their social media. And so for a summer, I got to spend time um, doing the accountability management for a author where essentially for accountability management, it is verifying they're on their deadlines, verifying they're getting their word counts, as well as if you're a narrator, making sure you have the right recorded audio. So I had a great time just making sure that everyone got what they were finished. I basically got to be just a sit there and tell people exactly what to do, when to get it done, schedule it, Excel sheets. And that was what I really wanted to go in doing. So that informational interview spurred me to be able to continue to do that in this industry. And even today, I still continue to do that accountability management on the side for Christian, who was the narrator I got to help with. So if I hadn't had taken that step with the informational interview, I would have never opened the gate to be able to begin to do these contracts that I do today. 
Some advice I'd like to give to a lot of the newer students and people that are still wanting to develop in the Harvard College of Business is really to use those OPCD resources. I know people say use them, do it, and it sounds so repetitive, but the reason I say that is for me, I started using them freshman year to understand what major I wanted to go into, and I had those conversations with a career coach that really could break down my interests and could really break down what I'm good at. Not what I can do, but what I want to do. That was the important distinction I really hit my freshman year. Then going into sophomore year, it was finding that mold that fit what I wanted to do best and getting those resumes and cover letters out so that way I could understand the interviewing process better as well as understand what employers want from me better. And so if I hadn't had gone to the OPCD, I probably would still very much be as I like to call my jelly phase where I didn't have my solid mold and I didn't have a solid plan. But because of every step of the way, taking those resources and understanding that, I now have a plan to graduate, I have a plan post-graduation, and an overall life goal that, while it may not change, it may have some variations in it, at least I have something to go on and something to push forward towards.